Are you dead? <laughs> oh shit. Welcome back, everybody, to the Zombie Apocalypse series with um, cops <laughs> uh, featuring Undead Legacy. That was our first uh, police officer that we've had um, ever. And this horde is just not stopping. They just keep coming. I mean, everything's great. I'm not having any problems except for that I'm really low on concrete, but they just won't stop. I mean, they're usually done by, like, 1 in the morning. So... It's probably just our game stage, you know, because we're getting... We saw a cop now, and the hordes just keeps coming. So, anyway, uh, I wanted to show you that we got a cop. Um, so, we're starting the episode right now. Uh, I'm seeing a lot more ferals come in, too. So, yeah, we're moving up in the world. Things are getting harder. And uh, our new sledgehammer here is kicking ass and taking names. So I have to manage stamina a little bit more. Than before, of course, but that was to be expected. <laughs> Good lord, Big Mama. What are you doing? So I'm mostly doing power attacks so I can, you know, try and get multiple hits. And, um, you know, the occasional entire group knockdown thing, which is really cool. I'm hoping this thing will stop before that concrete block completely breaks, because I'm out of, out of concrete for repairing. Um, and it's already 2.30 in the morning, man. So, yeah, this is... Uh, and this is the smallest horde. This is just a four zombo horde, too. And they just keep coming. All right. There we go. We got a double whammy on there. I can't get to either one of those um, loots. Uh, the one that's a little further out has been there almost all night, and I'm afraid it's going to, you know, despawn before we can get to it. But, you know, what can you do, right? Yeah, they just broke that, darn it. Okay, well, we've got lots of concrete now, or, or we will have lots of concrete from all the cement that we got from the hardware store, so that won't be uh, the end of the world, you know, trying to fix that. But, yeah, this is definitely the longest I've ever seen the the four Zombo horde. Um, it's all quarter to three in the morning already, and they're still coming. But, you know, lots of XP for us. That's, a, that's the bright side here. Lots of XP for us. We've already gotten, like, I think three levels in total tonight. And I... I put the... The last time I did points, I put it into Sledgehammer, so we have level four Sledgehammer skill now, which is awesome. Uh, we need to check the actual progression skill, too, and see where it's at if we've gotten to the next level on that. All right, let's have a thing here. All right, so for Spideys, I'm trying to, you know, kind of just get in low and then do sweeping attacks. And sometimes, you know, you can hit the legs and knock everybody down that way too. Another sledgehammer skill point, nice. Let's hit Big Mom on the kneecap. Okay, let's wait for our stamina and let's do a sweeping attack. There we go. All right, we need to eat, so let's do that now. I'm going to actually take both of these because uh, that's affecting our stamina cap and that's not good. It's after 3 o'clock in the morning and they're still coming. Okay, that block is still there, so we're, we're not in any danger at all. It just sucks that I have to rebuild that one, but it is what it is, right? Oh, we can get that one. Uh, nice. Research points. I don't, I don't know if this horde's gonna quit until morning. Uh, like I said, more, more XP for us. That's the important thing. 
Wait for all three of them to get up here and then we'll do another sweeping blow here. Alright, here we go. Alright, another loot bag with some ammo and two things we can scrap for research points. Very nice. Are you dead? <laughs> oh shit. Alright. We're not screwing around with the cops. Because, you know, I don't want them to blow up. For obvious reasons. I'm probably going to put... I might put that next point into Machine Gunner, actually. Is he dead? He is now. Yeah, I think we're going to... This is going to continue on all the way till morning. Well, you know, the downside to that is... If, if it's going to be this way from here on out, pretty much I can kiss goodbye doing anything at nighttime. Which is a little disappointing, but... It, well, maybe what we'll do... Um, I mean, we'll, we'll see if the next Tomorrow Night's Horde is the same. And if it is, then I might go ahead and turn the, turn the Horde off. Um, for, you know, like every other night or something like that, just so we can get some stuff done at nighttime. Um, nice, got another treasure map. Beautiful. Because I don't want, you know, I don't want to be in a situation where... Damn it, that's cop number three. I don't want to be in a situation where we can't uh, do anything at night at all, ever, you know? One of the things I kind of looked forward to doing the series is, you know, being able to do stuff or, or working on stuff at nighttime, you know. And that that's not going to work out for us if we uh, if we're going to have a horde that's going to last all night long. So, like I said, we'll see how things go tomorrow. And. Um, if tomorrow night's hard is all night long too, like this one's been, then I'm gonna change things up and we'll do hard every other night. But you know, we'll still do the the seven day hordes too, of course, uh, the big ones. That that won't change no matter what. Good lord, go away! All right, I think we're good. Let's grab this really quick before it disappears. Got a little food and some arrows and stuff. Okay, cool. So, so they, they hardly touch these bottom blocks at all. Um, good. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to probably cut the camera here and just do some stuff that I need to get done. I might, um, I was thinking about even having this just be an off, you know, taking the day off from recording so I can work on stuff, get some trees cut, get all this all the stuff hauled back over from the hardware store and all that. Um, but, you know, since I've, I've already started the recording and, you know, we're about eight, nine minutes into this, uh, we'll go ahead and just keep this episode going. But what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to cut the camera right now. I'm going to go get all the cement that we harvested from the hardware store, take it over to Joe Bros and get it turned into concrete so that I can get this fixed and get the rest of this upgraded. When I'm finished with that, I'll bring you guys back at that point, and then we'll probably go after that treasure. In fact, we got another treasure too. And it's, it's Nicole's. Isn't that the one we already have? Yep. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll just do another Nicole's after that. Okay guys. So I'll be back in a little bit and we'll go after that treasure. Okay guys, we are back and uh, ready to take off. Um, I, t I, I've been carrying a steroid around with me for a long, the longest time. So I went ahead and ate it and used it to bring all the stuff back from the hardware store, except for the engine and the tires. Uh, neither one of those things are things that we need anytime soon. Anyhow, um, but they're, they'll, they will be there uh, when we do need them. So I got everything brought back over. Um, kind of put some extra stuff in here. Made an extra box. And uh, put everything else away. So we have um, 494 cement in our inventory. And uh, some stone. We're going to have to get a, a little bit more stone. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop off at the... At the uh, cement mixer at Joe Bros and get this going while we go after the treasure. Now I had a little bit of a mishap um, off camera, and that was that I 
I got dysentery. I'm and I, I just I was just drinking normal water and I got dysentery. I'm going, what the hell? Anyway, um, Subquake has added a three percent chance to get dysentery back to just normal jarred water. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why I was getting dysentery until I I saw that. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, all right, we're gonna need some stone. I might have left a little bit of stone in the cement mixer. Let's go look at that. And then, um, unfortunately, we, we still only have a stone shovel, even though it's a legendary stone shovel, so at least we got that going for us uh, to get that treasure. And I have uh, the jailbreakers and lockpick with me, so we can, uh, you know, be guaranteed to get into the place. Okay, I did not bring any stone or have any, leave any stone in here. So let's just get this pile going here. And we need to come up with another 128 stone, plus a little bit extra to carry with us because we'll need it to repair the shovel and distract zombos if uh, should the need arise. So let's go find a boulder really quick and um, just get some stone. Shouldn't take too terribly long to do. I've kind of cleared a bunch of the boulders out already in this area. Oh, there's this big boulder here. Man, this heavy armor is just... It's rough to move around in, but it's its going to protect us when we need it. Okay, um, I'm going to get some stone, and uh, as soon as I get enough, we will resume our journey towards the, the treasure. And uh, also uncover some new territory, too. That'll be cool. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I actually have three points that we need to invest in, so let's take a look and see what we got. I think, um, you know, now that we have the uh, the FAR, F -A -R, however you pronounce that or say that, uh, let's put at least one more point into that since that is our oh shit weapon. Um, thinking about maybe putting some points into heavy armor because that'll help us move a little better, but I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. Um... It might not be a bad idea to put a point in meticulous packer because it's going to give us uh, allow us to carry 20 more units of weight. So that's certainly going to be useful. Salvage operations, I need to put some points into at some point. Um, agility, uh, bow skill, we need uh, perception for that. Yeah, I think I think we should probably just continue focusing on on straight on the strength tree. And get everything up that we need uh, until, and then we'll move to a, a new tree after that. So, yeah, let's just stick with strength. So, what I'm going to do is we put one point in machine gunner. Um, let's put a point into mother load. And I'm probably going to put a point into 69er uh, for the time being. All right. And, um, you know, I might end up putting some some stuff into the armor too but we'll see okay so our treasure's off this way and we are pretty much moving into a new territory that we have not been in yet see it's 11 o'clock in the morning i might um should probably try and walk because you know sprinting's just going to use up food and i don't actually have any extra food with me i topped it off right before we left and we probably ought to not loot anything on the way there until we get the treasure and see how heavy it's actually going to be. That's what I'm thinking. Except for bird's nest. We will loot bird's nest. Because we can always use the eggs and the feathers and all that stuff. I have to get used to the longer swing time. Of this. Oh, I want to I wanna test something too. Do we pick this thing up or do we just get the... Yeah, we just get the parts. I don't know how in the hell I got a whole bird's nest. <laughs> Somewhere along the lines I did. I'm just not sure how. This is a bit of a... Bit of a big park area here. There's not a ton of buildings in this immediate vicinity. Might be a good place to come deer hunting or something. I have yet to see a deer on this map. But of course, you know, we've been... In... Oh, shit. We don't want to mess with Biker. We've been in the town the whole time. You know, so that's not surprising. Oh, there's the interstate. Check that out, you guys. We haven't uh, haven't even looked at that yet. 
Uh, the interstate has, you know, cars and like, you know, cardboard boxes and other things on it that we could, you know, that we can loot. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. In fact, there's an egg. I wonder if the interstate is, or if the treasure's on the other side of the interstate. The treasure's this way. Let's look. Yeah, I'd say it's right on the other side. So let's go. Let's go look at that. Maybe what we could do is hop up there if we have enough frames. Uh, we only have five frames. That might not be enough, but let's just see. Um, and then we could just kind of run along the interstate to get to the treasure. Yeah, I don't know. Getting up here with five frames is going to be a bit tricky, if if even possible at all. It's probably possible. Um, especially if we... Well, see, the thing is, though, is getting up there and then retrieving the frames. That's going to be the tough part. Let's go to the to the broken end here. Because uh, if we have a flush surface, then we can do it. But with this overhang here, it makes it a little a little tough. Okay, fighting zombos on this uneven terrain is not going to be super easy to do. Let's uh, grab our axe here. Come on, Darlene. She is so fast. You have to really swing early. <laughs> you have to swing way earlier than you, you think you would have to. Nah, see, there's big overhangs here, too. All right, well, we're not getting on the interstate until we have enough frames to, to get up there and not worry about retrieving those frames, it looks like. Uh, I, I could build a dirt ramp up there, too, I suppose. But anyway, that's not really what we're about today, anyway. But it's kind of cool that we, we've seen it for the first time. Yeah, we could build a dirt ramp up there. Whoa. Oh, that's just easy. He scared me, though. All right, well, let's keep moving towards our treasure. It's already noon, so we don't have all the time in the world. There is a chicken that just saw us. I think I mentioned to, this to you guys bef before, but... I'm going to start using the pistol for chickens and rabbits instead of the big hunting rifle because, um, you know, it's cheaper to shoot. That big ass hunting rifle is a little bit overkill for chickens and rabbits anyways. There we go. I wondered if maybe we were just going to get your attention. Alright, let's go get this chicken. I haven't looked yet to see what it takes to make a hunting knife. We've, we found the schematic for it. Um, but I'm guessing that if we do make it, it's just going to be a level one, and it might not be better than this, you know, superior uh, bone shift. So, yeah, not really sure. Okay, treasure's just over this way. Oh, there's a church steeple. You know what we could maybe do? Oh, good, there's another egg. Um... What we could maybe do is get our treasure, and then while we still have uh, jailbreakers active, get up to the steeple and loot the fat loots up in the steeple. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Ooh, I forgot. That's just kind of heavy, isn't it? Uh, well, if we have to chuck something, we'll get rid of it because it's not that hard to get. Uh, it would be a bit of a challenge to get up there with only five frames. We'd have to alternate, but we, we could do it, though. Definitely could do it. 
it's just a matter of you know how much time we have left and all that but let's focus on the treasure first that is the number one thing the most important thing that i'm anticipating getting from this treasure is a buttload of coin and now you know we have those vending machines in uh the mall there the hardware store which I was thinking about busting a hole in the outside wall to the back of those, too. So we can get to them anytime, even when the repops come, you know. All right, well, um, let's go ahead and repair this now. And we got some digging to do. So, yeah, let's uh, look for some treasure here. All right, here it is. Here it is. We're, we must be over a, a note of some sort, too. There's some gravel there. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this. See, we're really heavy, but we got lots of clay, and I don't want to give that clay up. So we're going to get rid of that. But here, let's open the treasure first and just see what we got. Whoops. All right, so we'll eat this. Hopefully we get a big old pile of coin. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, you know what? I made a whole bunch of baked potatoes back at the base and forgot to grab them. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's a big old pile of coin. Awesome. Um, all right, let's take all of this. It doesn't fully encumber us, but it gets us close. I sure wish there was something we could do. Oh. gold ingot so we do have a use for this oh nice okay very cool all right so we, so i guess we need to make ingots for something i'm glad we have a use for that stuff because it just pains me to know in to, to throw gold nuggets away <laughs> well i haven't been throwing them away but i just wasn't sure what i was going to use them for all right let's deal with arlene first We got eight minutes left on our stuff. Okay, can we get over here? And get up there uh, while we have time. Man, the problem is whatever we get, we're probably not going to have room for it. Well, let's worry about that later. Uh, okay, so if we're going to zigzag up the side of this, we're going to need to go up this side here. Afraid. Oh shit. I was afraid I might wake these guys up. Damn it. They're not screwing around. Where are you at? Okay. I got another one somewhere. Oh shit, we're infected too. Great. I've got honey back at the base. The question is, are we going to be able to get back to the base in time to take it? Well, here, we're running out of time on our on our um, safe cracker. Oh, there you are. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Whether or not we're going to be able to carry all this back, that's a whole nother situation. Oh, we got a laceration too. Great. Wonderful. I probably should have just continued nerd pulling up, but <laughs> anyway, here's what it is. All right, what do we got? Eh, well, steel leg armor. That's nice. 
Okay. Well, let's just loot everything first, and then we'll decide what what has to stay and what can come with us. Uh, we got a weapons bag here. Oh, nice. We got ourselves a sledge turret. I'll take that. We might as well harvest this guy while he's here, right? Okay, we'll take that, and we'll take that to replenish the one <laughs> we can't move now. <laughs> okay. Some iron gloves, a beer barrel. Oh, nice. I'll take that for sure. Okay, so let's see. Let's do a, a weight sort. Um, all right. These can go for sure. Those can go. I hate to... Th well, th let's not throw them out. Let's just put them in here. We'll put those in there. We don't really need to take this with us because, I mean, it's not that hard to get, but I'm not going to throw it away either. Um, that's not super important. We got some of that back at the base anyways, and we're probably going to have a ton of it by the time this is all said and done. We got a leather hood. Okay, so we're actually under the encumbrance mark now. All right, let's go here, and uh, we're currently wearing green of those. So these are better. Physical resistance plus three, plus one. Okay, yeah, so let's take the steel. What did we have on here for a mod? We had a sneaky, sneaky mod. Okay, let's grab that off. So we're only going to be able to put one mod on here. Let's put the bandolier on this. That's going to help us reload faster. And then for our chest piece, we can put the sneaky, sneaky on that. Okay, good. So is this... This is not as good. Uh, so let's scrap that. And I think we're going to take the two pieces of leg armor, considering how heavy they are. And we're going to put those in there, too. For gloves, we'll switch out for the iron gloves, which are obviously going to be better than the leather ones, armor-wise. But I don't necessarily want to get rid of those either so we're going to put those in there too glass is not important grass is not important bark is not important sticks are not important we got tons and tons and tons of that stuff uh, i don't want to throw leather away okay let's look at this modify and let's put the retracting stock on so right now we're doing 62 range damage that bumps it up to 66 and will give us a little bit better fire from the hip. Sweet. Yep, I can definitely tell we're reloading faster. Let's make sure everything else is reloaded. Let's switch these two. Oh, we got another crate. Silly, silly me. Parts. Ooh, shotgun parts. I think those are the first shotgun parts we've we've been able to get. Okay, so regarding parts, uh, I don't care about those. I do care about those, and I don't care about those. So let's just, again, just to lighten ourselves up a bit. We might come back for this stuff someday. Probably won't, but we might. Can I grab those? Yeah, let's get, take those back with us. But again, the clay is just not that important uh, to take. So, all right, cool. Well, that was a reasonably profitable endeavor. Um, let's go ahead and head out. We've got, we should have enough time to get home if we just don't dilly dally. What the hell? Well, we're not going back up that way, are we? All right, now to get back off of here safely is the. So yeah, this laceration, and we could maybe find a couple of stumps along the way. 
I have nothing nothing to eat. So yeah, we're just going to have to make the best of it. That's all we can do, right? Easy. Easy does it. We do have impact impact bracers on, so we can take a, a little bit of a, a jump down. I hear footsteps. Okay. We have got a nice little pile of coin. You got oh corn, corn. Is there actually corn there though? It's all dead. Oh man. What the hell? Do we still just get grass from this, or do we get seeds? Yeah, it wouldn't. It, it can't be that easy. Ah, too bad. Okay, well, is what it is, right? Got some sleepy somewhere. The Fates Motel. Oh, biker, stay away from him. Ah, that's a bummer. That none of that corn's any good. But uh, we'll, we'll come across some eventually. Oh, stump, stump. Let's see if we can. There's a dog right there. Hopefully he stays right there. Okay, we got a honey. We also woke up a sleepy. Okay, let's take this now. And... Uh, we were, yeah, we're only at 1.9, so we're good on the infection. That will take care of itself now. Your footsteps over there. I don't know what kind of zombo it is. Oh, it's just yo. Oh, and a chicken too. Boy, do we want to fire our weapon this close to that house? I don't care about yo, but I'd like to get the chicken. Got him. Thing is, though, is we can't... We can't, uh... Really be looting because we we don't we have ninety six point four encumbered uh, to towards fully encumbered. That's what I'm trying to say. But chickens chickens and meat, yeah, we're getting that no matter what. If we have to, we'll throw something else out. Oh, I want to get rid of this uh, bookmark too. Okay. Yeah, I suppose one fairly easy way we could get up here is just dig a bunch of dirt and make some dirt blocks and then go up that way. Did we already look at this? Nope. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, so it's 5 o'clock in the evening and we got a bit of a walk, but uh, hopefully we'll come across a little more game along the way. I'm going to actually kind of go across this what we'll call park area. And if we could spot a deer, that'd be fantastic. Or a pig, or even a normal wolf. Don't want a dire wolf, but a normal wolf would be fine. Because we've got firepower for that kind of thing now. That's an O'Reilly's. Or not O'Reilly's, um... You know, the Home Depot place. The electronic store. We got a farmer brown that way. There's a cactus in the back of that POI. There's a zo yombie. A zo yombie. <laughs> a yo zombie. Uh, sometimes I have just a little 
bit of touch of Lixdexia. Every once in a while, that happens to me. Yes, I know I said Lixdexia. You guys are going to see for real? Okay. <laughs> There's a clothing store. You know, we never did loot all the clothing thingamadoodles in that one POI that we did several episodes ago now. Okay, there's a bunny. I don't think he's seen us. I just got to get a clear shot off on him is all. We've got a Steve Zombo that we might aggro in. There's another. Okay, nope. Didn't get their attention. I think we're good. Ooh, two eggs. Nice. Oh, we found them. You know, when we looted the hardware store in yesterday's episode, if you guys watched the the, the montage that I did, uh, we found the recipe for sham chowder. So, as soon as we can get some... Oh, nice, two more eggs. As soon as we can get some corn going, uh, we could actually be doing pretty damn good for food. Because sham chowder's... Very, very good food. There's only a few more dishes that are better than sham chowder. Like the spaghetti and the shepherd's pie, stuff like that, are super top of the line food, but sham chowder does not suck. Not at all. If we can get to a point where I don't feel so desperate about our, um, our food situation, let's get rid of those... We got a bazillion jars. We can get rid of that. We don't need all these stones either. Um, I'll, you know, I'll start holding on to the sham. But we're not quite there yet. So if I'm starving in sham chowder or sh a can of shams, all I got, we're still eating it. We'll come across more. But I feel good that we got this big stack of coin and we got three working vending machines in the mall. Oh, man. This guy is kind of tough. If we can just keep him knocked down. I mean, he's also slow, but we're kind of slow right now, too, is a problem. We don't want him to hit us. Oh, he's going to hit us. Oh, man, that was close. Whew. Okay. I was about ready to pull out the far. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, you guys. Is that is that rifle actually are we supposed to actually call it a far or are we supposed to call it an FAR? I don't know. So let me know in the comments if you know what the answer to that is. Of course I'll probably just look it up on Google later, but <laughs> still let me know. If you don't. Uh, I was wondering if that was the house that had, like, a ton of cement. I don't think it is, though. So anyway, just a, you know, just a quick reminder. If tonight's horde lasts the entire night long, then we're going to move to a horde every other night. Um, just because here again, my my intention from the get-go, you know, with the hordes every night, was not to do a horde every night, but just to force us to not be out and about. But if the hordes are going to start lasting all night long, I'm not going to have any time to do anything at nighttime. You know, crafting, mining, that sort of thing. And, you know, we'll... We don't have a lot of time during the day, and that's when I record for you guys. I most, you know, for the most part during the daytime. So, you know, we have to 
We need, I need a little bit of time to do stuff, is what I'm trying to say. It hasn't been a bad thing doing the hordes every night, because, man, we're getting XP like crazy, but... We gotta, we gotta have balance with these things, man. Gotta have a good balance. Alright, this is gonna make us heavier than shit, but I don't want to come back here. No, yeah, we're not heavier than shit, we're just heavy. Oh, we can get rid... Well, actually, let's keep that in there. That didn't really make much difference, did it? Uh, well, you know what? Let's just go. It's gonna be a little slower going back, but... Probably not as... Well, probably won't take as much time as it would for me to go home and then come all the way back here again to grab that. Not that it's that far, but... Oh, stamina. Um... We don't have any coffee. I don't want to really burn a mega crush. So, yeah, we'll just walk. Our food's tanked again, as usual. <laughs> oh, man, never-ending battle, guys, in the early game for Undead Legacy. Or at least it has been for me. Never-ending battle. We'll, we'll eventually get to a point where food's no longer an issue. Of course we will. But we're not there yet. That's the thing. We're not there yet. Well, I guess um, there's not really much more to show you. So I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I'm going to go, uh, you know, go, go back up into the base and do some inventory management and just kind of get ready for the horde night. If I have a little tiny bit of time, I might try and cut a few trees down. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was kind of a fun episode. We got out and did a little exploring, got a pile of cash, well, coin, um, and some other cool stuff. So yeah, it was a good episode. And uh, anyway, that's it. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.